welcome to real food and today I'm going to cook um, an onion soup um, it, it's a French classic and um, it can be quite complicated or very simple um, and I'm going to do um, a relatively easy version today um, it's very flavorsome and very very delicious um, if you get it right and I appreciate that not everybody might like onions but the onion soup actually doesn't taste too much like onions because the onions are caramelized there's also um, obviously chicken stock or beef stock or some other soup and all of these flavors they mix together and um, another thing I discovered I discovered that um, onion soup also um, use uh, sweet wines in order to caramelize the onions so they also um, cooked under uh, the influence of these sweet wines and desert, desert you know these pudding wines and sugars and alcohol so today I'm going to use a splash of um, Chateau de Cam it is actually a very expensive wine but I'm because I'm going to use a very small amount um, it's not gonna make my soup like really expensive but it is quite you know bottles are like 400 pounds 300 pounds um, so but at the moment what I'm doing basically the first step is to start um, frying your onions and caramelize them and bring them to the point where they're nice sort of brown and this is what I'm doing here so as you can see okay guys so my onions you see they're now browning and uh, gently generally so this I'm using some butter so you can see some butter and they're browning and um, they're getting caramelized now and this is the wine I'm going to use so this is Chateau Chateau de Cam. you know this brand actually belongs to Louis Vuitton now so it's LVMH um, LVMH um, wine um, I can't remember how much I paid for this bottle it is quite expensive and it's the reason why I want to use um, this um, sweet wine um, because it's very, it's got very rich flavor so you see it's 1994 and um, it's got very sophisticated sweet rich flavor um, which has a little bit of caramel a little bit of prune a little bit of honey so it's a really interesting flavor and I think that will make my soup also like really amazing and really unique and exquisite because I so okay guys as I was saying I've got this um, beautiful Chateau de Cam wine and I wanted to add the richness of flavor into my onion soup so see you only need a little bit to create it's almost like a volca volcano of um, of flavor and um, and life in your onions so mm, I already can smell um, I can I can smell them the additional flavors like honey prunes um, grapes and and a bit of sugar so it's very interesting yeah it's fantastic yeah it smells already beautiful so this is what um what sweet wine does I mean you don't have to use such expensive uh, like LVMH wine I mean it, it smells amazing this LVMH this um, Chateau de Cam but you can use even brandy or um, or any other sweet wine really um so there's lots of them I recently also discovered um something called um, um ice wine this is a, a, a variation of sweet wine which basically what they do they collect the grapes after the first frost sets on them and that creates the, uh, like a very amazing flavor again and um, it's very nice sweet wine so I recommend sweet wine but let's get back to our onions look so the onions are now caramelizing so when when you reach this kind of stage when they're golden and you've um, caramelized them a little more with um, with um, sweet wine and you can see alcohol already reduced I think this is a good time to start adding um, well I'll be using chicken stock but you can use any other type of stock so I'll be using chicken stock then you can add maybe rosemary or some herbs in there but I will add chicken stock in a minute okay so here we are my chicken stock goes in and you see and this is where when your soup becomes an actual soup <laughs> you know so you add the liquids and suddenly all them yes it look it looks lovely so and now I think um it depends on how much um, time you have and how much um, time you want to spend on it 
because the onions are already cooked, so you can bring this to to boil maybe for for a minute or two, or just heat it up to your desired temperature. And I think it's pretty much ready to eat. Um, you can add salt to taste, um, other spices like pepper. And I think this is pretty much ready. Mm. Yes, you know, in France, you also notice they also add cheese. They grate cheese um, and it goes on top. I might actually do it this time. And then you can even put it in the oven and do a little bit of baking to create that melted cheese situation at the top. I mean, yeah, that's that's the traditional way to do it. I might add a little bit of cheese on top today um, for completeness. Yeah, why not? I've got some cheese, so but I'm not sure I want to bake it in the oven. So I'll just have a little bit of melted cheese at the top, and that will that will conclude my onion soup. <laughs>